great weather for the voters today, but the question is, will will this weather continue? And this is all will continue for at least the next 12 to 24 hours, but then it's all downhill for at least 24 hours. For the weekend. For the weekend. Okay. Up in the air right now. Okay. On the campus of Murray State University late this afternoon, we had 58 degrees. Today's high was 60. The overnight low last night was 45. The winds are out of the east at 5 miles per hour. The barometric pressure is falling at 30.06 inches. Relative humidity is at 30%. No rain recorded today in two and 67 hundredths of an inch of rain recorded over the weekend and is our November total. As we take a look at the regional map late this afternoon, this is one election where you could not say the weather kept you in. Nice sunny skies and mild temperatures. Temperatures dominated the region. 59 at Carbondale, 62 degrees at Cape Girardeau under mostly sunny skies late this afternoon. 56 at Paducah and here in Murray, 61 degrees down in Bowling Green. Nashville reported 64 and over in Louisville it was 59 degrees. On the surface weather map late this afternoon we see a cold front moving over the eastern part of the nation. That's the same front that brought us a few showers last night but they only amounted to a trace of precipitation. There are a few heavy thunderstorms here reported over parts of Mississippi. Louisiana and Alabama late this afternoon. These will continue to move south over the next 12 hours and it will bring an end to the sunny skies in Florida. 76 degrees late this afternoon in Miami. Up along the New England states, well, a few snow showers were falling over the northern Great Lakes. Marquette, Michigan picked up 17 inches of snow over the weekend to bring them their first major substantial snowfall for this season. It was 39 at Green Bay, Wisconsin late this afternoon. 50 at Chicago, 79 in Dallas under high pressure over our region. Now this will bring us light winds tonight and partly cloudy skies, but it will slide off to the east over the next 24 hours, and as it does, a developing storm system now over the Rocky Mountain states will bring us our next chance of precipitation. Rain is falling over parts of Kansas late this afternoon into Colorado. 28 degrees was the afternoon cold temperature that being reported at West Yellowstone, Wyoming. Now this storm system is intensifying over the Rocky Mountain states, but it will be nothing as strong as the storm that moved through over the weekend. We had high winds, a barometric pressure reading of 29.32 inches, and that's the lowest barometric pressure that we have seen this year. So it was a very intense storm that moved through our region. This storm is not as strong, but there is one now moving on the Pacific Northwest Coast that is. It brought Spokane, Washington to their first one-inch snowfall of the season. Now, over the next 24 hours, the storm will move into our region, and as it does, it will bring heavy snows tonight over part in northern Colorado, but for us, no snow is expected, but we will see a much warmer trend tomorrow before the cold front passes through late tomorrow night and early on Thursday. As we take a look at the forecast for the Murray and Nathan area for tonight, partly cloudy skies, so it will be around 42. We will see an increase in clouds tomorrow. Rain will develop late in the afternoon. Rain and a few thunderstorms tomorrow night, but we will see a high tomorrow of 69. The extended forecast calls for falling temperatures on Thursday with rain ending. We'll see a high of 56, but they will be falling during the day, partly cloudy Friday, rain developing late on Saturday and into Sunday. And so with these storms coming in, it's uh, definitely a fall pattern. And Amy, I want to mention that today is the 119th birthday of the National Weather Service. Okay, we'll have to wish them a happy birthday then. Okay. Thanks, Amy.